Revelation 4297, from the 12th of May 1948. Feeding at the Lord's Table. Communion. Words that come from above enlighten the spirit, they expand knowledge, they strengthen the soul and also help the body's substances to spiritualize themselves and turn towards the soul, which is why the body willingly complies with what the soul, driven by the spirit, demands of it. Words which come from above can only be heard when soul and spirit are united, when the human being's thinking, feeling and wanting is directed inwards, from where the human being's spirit, which is of divine origin, can make itself known to the soul. Hence the spirit gives off something which flows directly from the spiritual kingdom and has taken the path to it, because the spiritual spark in the human being is in contact with the eternal father spirit and can therefore also constantly draw the strength from him which expresses itself as knowledge which it now also passes on to the soul it inhabits. It is therefore a diversion of divine strength to the soul, which he now has to use if the soul is to achieve spiritual success. It must receive the word from above and let it have an effect on it, and the effect of the divine word will be an impulse to act in love. Then, therefore, the soul will also have influenced the body to join the spirit's will and the loving human being will thereby establish direct contact with God, who will now work in him through his strength of love. This is a process which is so easy to understand if it is explained to people correctly, and which nevertheless requires the working of the spirit in the human being in order to be understood. For the world, with its earthly mind, knows nothing and understands nothing of God's union with the human being through love. Although man takes it in literally, he does not understand the connection, just as he has no correct idea of God's working in man. He explains the latter to himself with clear intellectual thinking but he does not recognize direct word transmission, which proves that he does not believe in the working of the spirit and consequently also does not know that and how God's spirit expresses itself in the human being and therefore people also lack the knowledge about the spiritual feeding at the Lord's table. They do not understand the deeper connection between the transmission of the divine word and the Lord's supper instituted by God, and they also lack all understanding for the fact that the word emanating from God himself is the highest and best good which is attainable on earth and exceedingly necessary for the soul's development and that Jesus Christ on earth only knew the one aim to show people the path which earns them the grace to receive that good, the divine word. For he himself was in that state where his spirit, in union with the eternal father spirit, imparted profound knowledge to him and spirit, soul and body were united in constant activity of love. He constantly drew strength from God, he was united with the father of eternity, his soul was fed by the Father with his word, and thus he gave back to his fellow human beings what he himself received. He distributed the bread of heaven, he passed on the divine word and admonished them to do likewise, he gave bodily and spiritual food to those who hunger and thirst. The giving of the bread was only a figurative comparison of what Jesus offered people with his word. The divine truth which truly brings maturity to the soul if it is received with heart and mind. He offered people the word which the Father spoke in him as true food and true drink and admonished them to do the same, to spread the divine teaching of love and thus to refresh people with food and drink, so that they would then strive for union with God and God himself would be able to refresh them at his table so that the spiritual spark would flare up in every person and the word of God from above could be heard by all who desire it, who hunger and thirst for spiritual nourishment. Amen.